Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I bring you today a video very close to my heart with a big smile on my face. It is the video that you have been requesting for a while now and that is talking about the Bitcoin bear market. I know this is going to be an emotional video for some people. <laughs> on one hand, we got people super excited looking forward to this. And on the other hand, you got people that are very scared, fearful, you know, angry almost about even talking about a Bitcoin bear market. I want to show you today why it is a time of opportunity. The opportunities are massive. You can make money while Bitcoin is dropping. Even if you are a spot holder, this is still a very big opportunity to have more Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, it's just a time. It's just a time of there's no need to be scared. There's no need to be fearful. There is no need to be upset. It's a time to take advantage of the opportunities in front of us. And that is by trading Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to absolutely love the video, as always. I will tell you, it's probably going to be a bit of a longer video than normal. I, I reckon pushing the half an hour mark. Um, of course, though, I will stress it's absolutely vital that during the whole of the video, you pay full attention to what I'm saying. Why? Because the levels that we give, they get respected. So you need to be marking out the levels, paying attention to what I say, block out all distractions and just focus on this video. By the end of it, as always, you're going to say, well, I'm very glad I've done that. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's let's begin this video in what better way, what better way than talking, obviously, about if we're in a Bitcoin bear market, where the high was put in. And funnily enough, this one put in at $69,000 on the 10th, yes, the 10th of November. I think, why 10th of November? Why $69,000? Well, it's all to do with technical analysis. It's all, it's all to do, without a doubt, some people are going to like, oh, no, it's based off of the news. It's off of the fundamentals. I'm here, I'm here to show you today. No, it's absolutely not. <laughs> From the one minute chart to the one day chart to the one month chart. These are all based off of technical pivots. Okay. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. So the 10th of November, obviously called back in May. Yes, I do give some absolute golden nuggets over on Twitch streams, I'm not going to lie. Obviously calling that 10th of November pivot back in May. Um, 10th of November. And what was up the 10th of November? That was obviously the $69,000 target that we hit there. And that was given back in December 2020. How did I get that $69,000 target? It was by a combination of Elliott Waves and Fibonacci. Fibonacci, one of the most powerful tools, as you know, every day we're using this. Love Fibonacci, absolutely extremely powerful combination of Elliott Waves. We had that $69,000 target. That was back in basically one year ago, almost one year later. What happens? 10th of November, $69,000. Yes, we put in an absolute pivotal high, you know, already seen a 40% drop from that. That does not constitute a bear market, of course, but it does constitute a very large drop in price. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, keeping this, I'm going to try and actually keep this video very professional, very focused. Uh, you know, the whole reason we do these videos are to actually empower you to become a better trader. You know, I'm not going to be here shouting about random numbers, blindly say, oh, just buy the dip, do whatever, you know, all these sort of random, unuseful quote type moves. Oh, you don't deserve a 200% move. You can't deserve a 20% drop. You know, this is just unhelpful, <laughs> random phrases. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to zoom into the Bitcoin chart. Look at what's happening now. Obviously today, yeah, we're up 3.2% currently. There is a rally undergoing, you know. So obviously this is the thing. We are going to take a look and dive into the Bitcoin charts, go over the very important levels that we can be trading from, okay, and how we can actually look to approach this over the next few weeks, few months, maybe even a year into the future. So there we go. That's what we're looking at today, ladies and gentlemen. Let's let's start. Okay, and I'm going to approach this in the same style that I always approach my videos, and that is looking over the past 24, 48 hours of price action. So why do I do this? So you can understand why we were trading the way we have traded, okay, why we're looking at the levels we look towards, and then bringing that onto what's happening now with this rally, and what we are looking for next, okay? So I'm not going to take any more time. Let's go straight into it. It's already probably going to be a longer video. Vamos. So 
first of all, what happened originally? We all we all know we hit fifty two thousand dollars. Well, just 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 shy of it. Okay, just shy of fifty two thousand dollars. Obviously, from that we got to move down. What was it? Fifty two thousand dollars that we were aware of that we were looking at. Okay, it was obviously our row of SPs. Okay, you can see that the row of SP is slightly below $52,000. That's where we come into. That's where we reject from. So we basically filled all of those SP rows. Okay, very technical. This is off of TPO theory, of course. And after rejecting at those levels, where's the next level? I would always say this. We need to have a plan. We need to know the levels that we're buying. So we're not just, a, you know, so we're not just buying at random points in the chart. We need to know high levels of confluence. Why? Because this gives high probability trades. Okay, my idea was we're going to look down to those two POCs. Okay, you can see here we have two daily POCs coming on to each other. This one is a naked one. And, you know, you can see this comes in at $49,000. We're currally trading at around $50,000, Really simply, I've understood why we put in the high, where we put it in, putting those SP rows. And I know the exact level that I want to buy, you know, when we get this drop. And it is towards that $49,000. What did we have here? The confluence coming into the CC. We're coming into the point of controls. We're coming into uh, the bottom of our channel. Yeah, it was all lining up together for a very, very nice trade. Doesn't mean we're just going to blindly trade it. But it does mean we're going to be having an alert set ready and waiting for the reaction of that level. Okay, I refer to you, obviously, the channel that I mentioned there briefly. This was the channel <laughs> working day and night uh, that we found, obviously, uh, around, you know, this stream went on to around 1 a.m. Again, over on over on Twitch. I give a lot of golden nuggets on Twitch, that's for sure. But obviously, once again, over on late night Twitch live stream, found this lovely, lovely channel. And it gave us the confluence at around that $49,000 pivot that we were looking towards. Okay, then it was just a matter of being patient. Okay, be patient. Wait for the level. Wait for the level. We're not going to miss this one. What happened? We obviously did make our way down. We made our way down to the low of our channel. We hit our POCs and we are at the time seen, you know, slightly below the channel. I really simply give the update to my team. You can see here at 12. 27 posted in the group screenshot from 1226 within one minute posted in the group saying exactly what i'm looking for here hit those, that poc what we're looking for next is a reclaim of the channel to go long okay why do we wait for the reclaim because this is of utmost importance if you know this is the thing we are trading probabilities i'm never going to come here and tell you we 100 percent know what's going to happen we have you know we're talking about in the 90s high percentage probabilities but there's never 100 percent because all it takes is one thing to go wrong. And, you know, we've got to trade the probability. So if we can see a reclaim of this channel, what have we got then? We've got a valid setup, which gives us a long with the stop loss invalidation below the low of that wick. OK, and we're obviously going to be looking for higher because it's a long target setup. OK, so you can see how methodical, how thought through this is. Yeah, we're ready of these levels days in advance. It hits. We have an alert go off. We wait to see the reclaim. OK, what happens? We see a reclaim of the channel. We enter the long. We've got our invalidation and we look to trade it higher. It's as simple as that. It really is as simple as that. And what happens? We got the reclaim as we were waiting for. Gives us those long opportunity. Price starts to make its way back up. Really, really nice. Obviously, what do we hit into at the end? Well, from that climb, we hit into the middle of the channel. OK, and again, what we it's not just the middle of the channel, by the way. We obviously have confluence here. We're taking a bunch of these highs. We are also hitting. I mean, I'll draw it out on the chart. We're also hitting into the CC, which is taken from your um, from your high to the low. You've got your CC coming in there and you've got coming into that middle of the channel. OK, so all kind of lined up together. Again, if you if you know how to read order flow, I know order flow is slightly advanced for some people, but you know if you put in the time to learn it, wow, it, it, it's absolutely worth it. You also then have a bunch of trap traders up into the high. If you, you if you're trading tra Eagles TR, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you just all come together actually for a pretty good short position. But at the very least, obviously, you can be taking profits here without a doubt on the long from the lower. As we all know, though, from here, we did get the rejection off of the top of that channel. And again, this is not just, you just understand how there's nothing random in this chart. It's just all based off of the technicals. It's just trade, trade what's happening. It's, uh, anyway, <laughs> we reject off the middle of that channel and we obviously break down the low of this channel and we start to make our way back down once more, okay? From making our way back down once more, what did we have next, okay? This is what I love to do. When we bounce off of like the middle of the channel here, 
This is also coming into the CC. We're obviously gifted a really, really great pitchfork. And again, <laughs> once again, a Twitch live stream <laughs> coming into 1am around last night as well. Obviously, looking at this on the Twitch live stream, we had this lovely pitchfork, which I will draw out for you now. But I love pitchforks when they're off of middle of channels, by the way, slash the CCs. I'll draw it out for you right now. So we take our pitchfork tool from the high to the low to the high, which was obviously off the middle of that channel. And we can see this is what we had. This this really great pitchfork. I mean, just look at it. Just look at it from originally finding it. Look at the middle of the channel, how it's respected here. OK, we rally up right into the middle of that pitchfork, which is just like outstanding when you understand this. We rally into the middle of that pitchfork. We reject from that. We obviously put in our higher low. And here we've gone higher high, higher low higher high we build another higher low and then this afternoon we've started to rally through that level yeah we've rallied through the middle of this after holding once of rejection twice as rejection on a lower term time frame third time we got through the level more times we test the level the weaker it gets third time testing the middle of the pitchfork we've broken through the middle of the pitchfork where have we moved up to we're actually at this whole range poc okay so the um highest volume of this whole range that's what the resistance we're currently at obviously sat around forty nine five hundred dollars um so that is the you know i love to do these talk throughs because I, it's just just really educational yeah you if you truly are learning from me then yeah it's really great to just see that it actually works so that's talking you through the initial moves of this okay and now i want to talk on to more of like what's next <laughs> Um, I have this loaded up for the real, real quick announcement, and that's the one and only one that I want to do here. And that is just a reminder that obviously Eagle has talked you through that CCTR strategy. One of the best live streams you're ever going to see if you enjoy like real in depth strategies, going through all the rules, going through how you get your entries, where you place your stop losses, where you look for your take profits, just like real amazing strategy. And people that have started to trade this already are absolutely loving it. So if you want to watch that, that's obviously for all of the contenders and all of the champions over on chartchampions.com, where it's like my public videos on, on steroids, as we say, just so much more in depth. If it's, you know, it's really if you're taking it seriously, um, you've got to go check out that, that stream because it's it's next level. <laughs> uh, that's the only announcement or reminder, I suppose, that I wanted to remind you of. It's, it's worth checking out for sure. And that brings us on to, you know, talking about Bitcoin now. So I suppose it really does make sense to zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm understanding that we're rallying right now. And, you know, um, I could already imagine the reactions if we rally another 10%. Hey, Daniel made a Daniel made a video talking about the bear market and now we're up 10%. <laughs> yeah, it do, it's kind of irrelevant. We're, we're talking about a high term time frame here. So if we, we, we could rally another 50 percent from here and, you know, still doesn't invalidate any of the ideas. So what we have to be thinking to ourselves is, OK, we're looking at a higher term time frame idea. OK, so let's say we rally, um, you know, from an overall rally, even into the CC, which obviously from low to high, we're talking about, you know, 60 percent, almost, you know, just over, actually, of course, into, you know, a, a retracement, we're retracing 60 percent of this. So if, even if we do that, it's still not invalidating anything we're talking about here. So obviously we have the high term time frame CCs, but I'm, I think we have more important levels to be aware of prior to this. Um, you know, really, we can see our, our first major one uh, coming in at around you know, $57,000. Why? I mean, I've talked about this one quite a bit. Obviously, this does mean clearing the last high, of course. But if we can do that, then we have cleared those single prints. We can move on to our, our, our rows here. Okay, all this inefficiency. And it'll be bringing you back into your order blocks here. So we'd be looking, obviously, to around 50, 57k. This is a big high-term time frame level, really big high-term time frame level. Uh, but obviously, that is naturally uh, a resistance, of course. And we're, we'll be looking at $61,000 up to 66 thousand dollars and i mean that the reason why these levels above us are so nice is because they are actually really really well defined yeah really well defined and i just love levels that are really well defined especially when you could when you recognize the confluence that they have on these levels uh, it's just really beautiful as, as a trader this is like you could not ask for more so these levels really well defined high confluences just you know for, for me this is just like a, a lovely 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 position to be in
Okay, and the same is actually to be fair on the way down. Uh, obviously, we can be looking at this as, a, as an initial range here, and this is obviously talking about a little bit of a lower term time frame. But we already have a bit of a range forming here, don't we? Well, we can see the range lows are coming in at around forty-seven thousand dollars, give or take. Um, you know, we can look at this as a zone. We don't look at it as a that dollar, but we have this you know zone at around forty-seven k, which is clearly acting as support once, twice, three times. Yes, it is important to acknowledge that it is another higher low. This is another higher low. So obviously, locally here, and again, this is where you have to understand time framing, but we could say on a local term time frame, yes, I would class this as neutral currently. I would personally say this is totally 50-50 on this range. I'm, not, I'm absolutely fine to trade it long as I am to trade it short. This is for me as a totally neutral range, but nevertheless, we can look at the structure that's being built here it's basically building up into a position of being squeezed yeah so we are going to be either you know one would imagine a, a fierce breakout to the upside where we'd look to our next level of resistance or obviously if we start to break down well we still have this the npoc here to, to be aware of first of all okay this is our first major level we break this we can look towards our cc of course if we break this well we can go down to goblin town <laughs> um but yeah i i mean at the moment i think you know, this is this is the thing that people need to be aware of. The title of this video, I mean, I'm just going to make up a random title, probably like, is it time to sell or is it is it a Bitcoin bear market? I don't know really what the title is going to be, but you cannot trade off the titles of my videos. <laughs> you cannot trade off of a title. You have to you have to listen to the content because the content is sometimes very much different than, than the title. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you, um, you know, it's just really important here to focus, just, just focus on what's happening on the very large, large time frame so if we just hide our analysis and look on a very large time frame well you could say on a very 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 high time frame we are you know you could say everything is still looking bullish per se there's no you know there's no you could say it doesn't even look like we're even possibly entering a bear market yeah obviously we have seen a 40 percent decrease in price obviously that has equaled very very profitable short positions but we are at pivotal areas of support, okay? As we all know, that 39,500, this was the place for me where I said, if we lose, you know, I'm obviously talking about back in October, but I said, if we lose, you know, 39,500, I will close all of my longs from $29,000, $28,000. We haven't, we still haven't lost those levels, hence why I still hold those longs. So yeah, I hold my shorts as well. And then it's, it's, it's just like, I would always say this, it's a good position to be in. When you have longs from lows and shorts from higher, you, you can be patient. You, know? you can be patient and wait for the outcome. I'm not in any rush here. You know, wh why would we be in a rush? Yeah, there's, there's no need to be in a rush. Let's just remain patient. Let's at least wait for the outcome of this initial range. If we break up from this initial range, remember we're looking at 52 to 47K. If we break up from this, we know our next level to be looking towards of resistance. Again, there are, there are actually sub-levels for this, of course, where I think we just go straight to 57k, although there's not that much resistance above us. I think the first and most obvious pool that we'd be looking at is obviously uh, this CC, which is 53k. But, you know, it, take it level to level, but one would say it's fairly likely that we can push to 56k if we've taken, taken the high, be aware of the CC, of course, but there is not that much resistance because of the speed that we fell, okay? That does not mean I'm an extreme bull. It just means, hey, I'm not going to blindly take shorts, you know, I'm not just shorting every single rise for the heck of it, no, far from it. <laughs> and I'm not just longing every single drop just because I think Bitcoin's going to, you know, what insert random number here, it, it's kind of irrelevant. We, right, all we need to know, and I, I, just, I, and I hate to be the guy that just repeats himself, but it's just so important. All we need to know is our next level of support and our next level of resistance. And I would use this as an example, please pay attention, this is such a so important, so important. Let's say we're looking for the long here, for an example, okay? I would not preset my long here. I would not preset a long here, okay? Why do I always say place an alert, wait for the reaction, then mark it, order in? Why would I not place a limit order? Well, the problem with placing a limit order is let's say we place a limit order here, okay? And price does this, okay? Do a little bam, straight through. If we place a limit order here, I am then instantly underwater, instantly losing money. And let's say we had another idea of longing here. I'm hesitating to take this long because I'm already massively underwater. Okay. Whereas if I place an alert at this level and price does this and then reclaims the level and I see, you know, for example, some nice traps, long, uh, nice trap shorts below the line. I see that nice volume increase. 
e.g. I just don't see a massive move through the low, well then I can take a much more informed, well thought through trade. I'm not just basing it on hope, because if I preset, I'm hoping this level holds. I do not hope I'm not in the hoping game. I'm not in the gambling game. I'm in the making money game. And if you want to make money on trading, you 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 can do the statistics for yourself. I truly believe this. Presetting is, is a bit of a gamble. I think you want to place the alert. Of course, if you have a full-time job, you're going to miss some trades. But it doesn't matter if you miss some trades because there's a, a, there's a million trades ahead of you. You know, if you miss one trade, you know, if you miss a handful of trades, it really doesn't matter. But, you know, you're going to be not losing as much money. So, that's my word of, you know, word of uh, advice, uh, I suppose advice, yeah, I would generally not, uh, well, pretty much never actually, to be honest, if you preset an order, I want to place an alert at a level, I want to wait for the alert to go off, I don't want to make sure it hasn't just instantly tanked through the level, okay, um, so I can make an informed decision, that's why basically all of my orders are based off a of market, you know, I'll just mark it in based off the reaction, I'm not hovering around and setting limit orders, um, and my win rate drastically increases, um, so yeah, that is kind of the overview of this video. Um, I've talked you through the local term support and resistance, the levels that we would be looking towards if we break the resistance to the upside, if we break the support to the downside. I've talked you through the, the pivotal, to be honest with you, $69,000 high, why this was put in where it was put in. Like it was truly based off of Elliott Waves and technical analysis and people that have enough money to move the market <laughs> based off of those technicals, I suppose. And, um, you know, why it's not a time to be scared, why it's not a time to be fearful. It truly isn't. If we are in a bear market and we move down heavily, it's an, it's an area of opportunity. Yeah? This, why would you be scared about this? The only reason you'd be scared is if you are too overexposed, you don't know how to hedge, you don't ever take profits. That's the only time you'd be scared. Well, if you learn how to do that, then you're not going to be scared, are you? You actually recognize it's a time of opportunity. Uh, of course, we can rally up another you know, 20% before another drop. All I would say is I am not focused on whether it's a bull market or a bear market. All I'm focused on is the level to trade next. Okay, level to trade next. And I want to wrap up this video uh, actually talking, you know, I, I talked about it briefly at the end of yesterday's video, you know, do you want me to go in depth talking about something that's close to my heart? And uh, basically everybody said yes. So we're going to do a bit of a walk, talk through here, offer something that is ultra important in trading, ultra, ultra important in trading. Okay. And that is actually talking about hard work, discipline, and, 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 and I suppose the talent that comes off the back of this, um, or the skills that you pick up. And yes, we're going outside of the box here, but who doesn't love to go outside of the box? So um, originally I saw this video and it was just like, you know, let's share this because it, you know, it's quite, quite a powerful video in itself. You know, everybody talks about Messi, everybody talks about Ronaldo, the two goats, greatest of all times inside of the sporting arenas. Um, you know, absolute legends of the game. How do they become such legends of the game? It's because they work harder than everyone else. Ronaldo, older than all of his competition, but he's still up there at the absolute greats. He's still the name everybody looks towards. He's still scoring the goals for United. Why? Because this guy works his absolute socks off. Yeah, Every single day he's out there, he's training, he's getting better. The same with Messi. It was an interesting video. I'm not going to try and pronounce these names, but I, I'm, I'm very bad with names, even though they're world stars. You know, Mape, Mapai, and Neymar... <laughs> <laughs> obviously they they're here coming late for training whereas Messi's he's the first out he's the first out he wants to you know he just wants to be there he wants to train okay and I think if we can li link this back to trading okay just think of this back when we link it to training okay trading sorry um you know it's like trading assistant coming out here every single day doing analysis marking out the levels you know he's out here doing the work I'm out here. I mean, that was a pretty good example. <laughs> 12, 12, 12 o'clock coming on 1 a.m. I stayed up onto this live stream doing the hard work, marking out the levels. I will always say this. If you are, you know, if you are lazy, yeah, you, you, you're you not going to make it. If you are not, you know, not consistent, if you become complacent, because guess what? Traders that are very good can absolutely become very bad because it's all about understanding the market, how it's moving right now, okay? What works today might not work tomorrow. You need to be on top of your game. 
if you become complacent, let's say you find a nice trading strategy and you just think, oh, this is going to work forever. Well, that's called complacency and you will see results deteriorate. OK, for sure. I have firsthand experience of this. Methods that I used even just one year ago are, are, are really different than what I use today. Why? Because I understand what's working, what's not working. How do I do this? It's because, I mean, I literally do put in so much hard work. Yeah, it's not it's not a joke for me. This is this is totally serious. Yeah, I know I joke around, I meme and all this stuff. But at the end of the day, trading is it's totally serious and I love what I do. That's why I will happily put in these late nights and give you all assistance. But let me tell you this, it's 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 all about, you know, it's just like, it's like the greats of the game. You want to be there. You want to be the best. If you want to be the best, you've got to put in the hard work. You can't become complacent. You can't become lazy. Otherwise you'll fall off. You will fall off. Okay. And I know I speak to people here that are learning that I suppose don't class themselves as greats, but yeah, well, what better way to learn from a great? I mean, <laughs> I don't want to don't want to sound too big headed, but you have such an opportunity here, not just from myself, but from the team that we've built here. You know, I've, I've handpicked some of the best traders I've ever seen to form a, a team that absolutely just loves to dedicate their time to helping you learn. And I feel like the gold mine that we've created is absolutely wonderful. And you know, just some ending quotes here. Uh, maybe it inspires you, maybe it just gets you thinking. Okay, first one, if I had eight hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend six hours sharpening my axe. That's Abraham Lincoln, a name I can pronounce. <laughs> and that is, um, you know, when we relate this to trade, I always want to relate it back to trading. 95% of our time should be spent on planning out the trade. Only 5% of the time is entering. You know, if you are spending all your time entering, exiting, you don't have any plan. You're just randomly buying and randomly selling based off of what you read on Twitter, based off of the title of a video, based off of waking up in the middle of the night and seeing some random move down or random move up. And, you know, you're just always scared and fearful. You're not enjoying it. Well, you've probably not done your analysis, have you? The majority of your time should be spent on your analysis, should be spent doing you know, marking out your levels for sure. Okay. So that's the first major quote I wanted to highlight here. Preparation. Everything comes down to preparation. If you are prepared, you are not scared. Yeah. I'm, I'm never scared when it comes to taking a trade. Why? Because I know where I'm right. I know where I'm wrong. If at the end of the day, if I lose the trade, I lose a percentage that I'm totally okay with that I've planned out before I took that trade. Okay. Second quote, if your only goal is to become rich, you will never achieve it. <laughs> never achieve it. <laughs> This is quite an interesting quote, okay? And it, again, it's it's above technical analysis, it's above what we're generally here for, I suppose. But, um, uh, you know, every day, Daniel, you've got X amount of money, you don't need to work in your life. Why are you still here spending your time when you could be on an island doing nothing? Well, this is the thing. It's a barbaric question, and you can tell the people that ask these questions are not with the right mindset. Let's try and not be abused. Not with the right mindset. Yeah, can you, you know, it's, it, let's relate it back to Ronaldo. It's relatable so people can understand this. Why, why, you know, Ronaldo, he also has got a hell of a lot of money. Why doesn't he retire on an island? You know, it's because they enjoy being the best, yeah? It's, it's like a process of you want to be the best. And, you know, that, that itself is away from the money. It, the money is so irrelevant, yeah? When you reach a certain level of money, it's just like, money just doesn't matter. And I think anyone, if you ask anybody uh, wealthy in that regards, they will all, I'm pretty sure anyway, they will all tell you to say, money is so irrelevant. It literally doesn't matter. It comes to a point, it's just a number on a screen, just a number on a screen. It really doesn't matter. What matters is, you know, you can be rich monetary and you can be rich in terms of love, in terms of family, in terms of giving back. Yeah. And I think like if your only goal is to make money or become rich in that regards, will you ever actually become rich? And the answer is no. You have to have a purpose in life. Yeah. You have to have, you know, that passion, that purpose. And my purpose I feel right now is to give back. I'm spending a lot of time creating something that I truly believe is a legacy that will last you know, when I die. And, you know, this is something for, for, for me that is I'm passionate about, you know, I'm really passionate about this now. And yeah, I could go off and create an, you know, something, why don't you create an exchange? It's like, yeah, maybe we have the money now to create an exchange, but it's just like, 
this is just this is not my focus at the moment. Right now, I'm doing chart champions. I'm loving the experience, and uh, I can truly see with my eyes that we are helping so many people. Okay, so our focus is not the making money. Even in trading, your focus is not the making money. It's the it's the process of becoming financially free to then opening you up to the opportunities that you can give from being financially free. Yeah, the end goal is not the money. The end goal is being able to give back your time. In my opinion, that's what should be the end goal. For something to think about. Okay, I suppose I'll, I'll, I'll reach it back to you saying, when you become financially free, when you have made a hell of a lot of money through trading, what, what is your plans? You know, are you going to be the guy that sits on a beach doing nothing? Or are you going to be the guy that does something with his life? Yeah. Do you want to be? Yeah. I mean, it's up to you. I, I respect the guy that wants to do nothing. I respect the guy that does something and helps others uh, at the end of the day. It's your choice. you got to decide what you want to do. Then this is the thing. Most people are too lazy to be rich. They may say they want to be, but they don't. How many times do we get people come into the group and say, hey, I really need this. I really need this. I need to make some money. Uh, you know, I've been following. Yeah, this is a story here. Well, I've been following the moon boys. I've been absolutely wrecked. Now I want to learn. I want to do this. I want to make it. OK, two weeks later, they drop out the group because it's too hard. They don't have the time. It's too difficult. I don't understand. Like X, Y and Z, excuses, excuses, excuses. Yeah, they want they, they might say they want to be rich. They might say that they want to make it in trading. But, but do they actually do it? No. Yeah, they, they fall at the first hurdle. Why? Because it's a lack of discipline. It's a lack of not working hard. It's a, just a it's just a whole wrong mindset. Yeah, you have to be in it. You have to be in it to make it, yeah? You have to make it. Um, yeah, so it's just like, yeah, you may say something, and it's always the same. Actions speak louder than words. You know, I've heard this many, many a times. Yeah, you might say you love somebody, and then you treat them bad. It's like, yeah, it doesn't matter what you say. You might say you're sorry, but, you know, show something. And it's the same with trading. Yeah, you might say you want to be rich. You might say you want to do this, but then you spend all, you know, you just not doing it, yeah? So... Actions speak louder than words. Just because you say you want to do it doesn't mean you're actually going to do it. So show it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, what was that other quote? Yeah, a real champion is a champion is a guy that gets knocked down and then gets back up. Because you know? many people, they'll get liquidated, they'll lose money and they'll give up. Yeah, I mean, you just have to look at some of the legends in the group. Look at this. This was back 2020, last year. If you just see some of the names that have outlasted a year, you know, you have to think most people are dropping off after a year. Look at here. I mean, Spa, who's obviously a really good legend. I, again, very sorry on the pronunciation. He's a good, profitable trader. We have Younes, as you all know, a profitable trader. We have now Igor, who has become a coach. Started off as, as a member. He's now a coach for us. Um, you know, these people have stood the test of time they have of course lost money during their journey they've been you know at the lows and now they're at the very highs and they're enjoying the success how do you get that well it's not by giving up is it and the last quote that i have here is if you don't learn you can't change and if you aren't changing what's the point of being here okay this could be a rhetorical question are we talking about uh, even watching this video if you don't want to learn why are you here or life in general I suppose if you don't want to learn and you don't want to better yourself what's the point of being here? this is not my quote so uh, this is something for us all to reflect upon I suppose but I thought it was a pretty powerful quote uh, hence hence why I wanted to add it into the video <sighs> well there we go I hope that I, I think people do enjoy these like last 10 minute 10 minutes oh, over 10 minutes now but talking you through because at the end of the day yes we're here to talk about trading in this video yeah we're here to talk about the bear market but at the end of the day it's it's a process yeah you have to understand why are you watching this video well because i have a decade of experience doing this okay that's why you're here at the end of the day and it's like why why you just got to th you just got to think to yourself like why are we here why are we trading what is the purpose of this and you know what are we searching for what is our greater purpose in life and i think it's just always important to reflect upon this yourself myself everybody in the world like just reflect upon it if you're very successful what do you want to do with that success if you aren't successful what do you want to change to become successful yeah Everybody has to believe in themselves because if you don't believe in yourself, 
mm, it's unlikely that other people are going to believe in you. You have to have that bit of self-confidence. And I know, oh man, could I sort for another five minutes? I know that people right now are feeling lonely. People are upset. People are depressed. Um, and we acknowledge this and it's not like everybody's happy all the time. It's like you have to, like we say, a champion gets back up. Yeah, sometimes it's difficult. Yeah, sometimes I, I'll always try and relate it to trading. Sometimes you, you know, let's say you've been liquidated. Let's say you lost a, you know, I, I saw for myself, people have lost money on this move for sure. It was the highest liquidations we've ever seen. Well, not ever seen, but a high liquidation day in crypto. This is millions and millions and millions of money liquidated. So of course people are, are struggling from that. Of course they are. I don't come onto these videos and say, ah, look at me, I shorted. Uh, you suck. I'm, I'm amazing. Like, Although some people think that's the reason. No, this is not the reason. It's obviously because we we want to show you what's possible if you've put in that time and learning. But at the end of the day, if you're struggling, if you are lonely, if you are feeling upset or whatever, it's just like, you just got to think, you're at the lows, make a change. And slowly but surely, if you put in that dedication, you're going to get the rewards. Yeah, you're going to get the rewards. I think the worst thing in life you can do is just is give up. Yeah. And I see it. I see it a lot. People give up. People give up really, really too easily, in my opinion. If you don't believe in yourself, if you don't have the confidence, then yeah, it's a work in progress. Um, you know, when I started trading, do you think I, I come onto the charts every day and was just like, right, I'm going to get this level. I'm going to trade the level. I'm going to make some money today. No, of course. When I first started trading, I was like, probably like you watching this, you know, I'm scared. I don't trust myself, you know, just, just wishful thinking. Oh, I hope it goes back up. You know, it takes time. Yeah. That's what I want to say. It takes time. Like everything in life, it's, it's not going to come overnight. It's not going to be easy. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want to ramble on any longer. All I want to say is, hey, if you want some love, I hope I can share my love with you. You know, I'm here for everybody. If you want that help, then, you know, we have a community. We have a team that is built to help. As I see us now breaking up through that POC, I do want to get back to this. I'll take a quick look at this volume with you very quickly. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, you can. See, oh my, oh my, we missed this one. Look at this. We <laughs> look at this. Well, the vol open interest is increasing here, right on that uh, point of control. <laughs> look at this. This is pretty interesting, to be honest with you. Fifty million shorts. Op look, opening here. Obviously, unable to break down. And then you get the follow through of eight million longs opening. The problem is that you really need to get through the POC. Okay, so you really want to actually see the reclaim here of around. 49,500 that you can see here at POC. This is a really big level. Um, this video, yeah, we'll just monitor this for a few more minutes here. Why not? Um, basically, what you'd want to see through this level, again, I do not trade breakouts. I, do, I don't trade breakouts. So I'm not a guy that's going to be now scratching to get into long positions because I, I just don't trade breakouts. But for me, there's there's two things that I'll be looking at here. Okay, so why don't I trade breakouts? Why doesn't this interest me in a long? OK, well, in my opinion, you want to be getting in longs at the lows. OK, uh, the only thing that I am thinking to myself now would be, OK, is this a short position? OK, is this a short position? Yes or no. I'm not thinking to myself, do I want a long here? The only thing I think is, is this a short? Well, the, 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 the two things I'll be looking at now is the first my first thought is would be no. Uh, we have hit the the POC, but we have not trapped any longs yet. We have the we have the potential of a short setup here. We do. Why? Because we've seen the volume increase on this candle. OK, and we're obviously seeing the open interest increase. This is classed as bullish unless we lose that market structure. So as that has not happened yet, for me, this is not a trigger to take a short. Again, the only question I ask myself is, is this a short? Yes or no? Currently, the answer is no. What would change my opinion to yes? Well, it would have to be the MS change here and actually show this 9.2 million of, of longs that have just come in here actually get trapped. The level that we have just hit is technically perfect. OK, but just because we hit a technically perfect level does not mean we just ape into shorts. Yeah, I personally would see want to see a bit more of a reaction. Why? Because we're above the range point of control. We are above the range point of control. And then if we can just get a bit of market structure change, obviously, if we change that market structure, then we have trapped all of these longs. We have rejected from our technical level. And, you know, that gives us an actionable trade. Yeah, I refer back to this post. Yeah, when we had the loss of the channel, it wasn't an actionable trade until higher. 
And the same could be said on this short. It's not an, action, an actionable short until we actually see the MS change, which we haven't seen quite yet. Again, this court kind of requires a bit of patience. You probably have the answer within, you know, five, 10 minutes, but that's the sort of thing that I'm looking at as it comes in. I'm looking at the volume, looking at the open interest. We can see the delta is, eh, it's, it's not massive to be honest with you, but the volume is pretty nice. The delta is not. Um, yeah, that's basically the sort of things that we're looking at. And we'll be just be looking at this really quickly. Yeah, so. Yeah, obviously coming into the, the, the point of control, but this is not the point of control of the whole the whole range. We are slightly above that, that now. But of, of course, this is the thing. Very, very, very technical level, 49,500. This is a level that you want to have your alerts, monitor the reaction. Again, we, had, we have had that open interest increase, but I personally would want to just see a little bit of that MS change. Why? Because then that gives us our trap traders. Okay, and it's a simple case of do we have them? Yes or no. We have the potential, and the answer is absolutely yes. But they're only trapped if we change the MS. Yeah. If we don't change that, then they're not trapped, are they? So this is the differentiation. Of course, this is not simple trading. It's a little bit, it's a little bit uh, advanced, I suppose. But this is the thing. Like this is how you change from shorting here and hoping for the best, uh, rather than shorting what's actually happening. Okay, and I think that's a big differentiation. It's a big. Uh, difference between those two things um i mean yeah this is really technical level and then we have obviously our pullback level to around uh, you know, look at this we have all of this support and coming in now uh 48300 i don't want this video to be too lower term time frame though to be honest with you but <laughs> um i'm just going to wrap it up here i'm going to say i really hope that you have enjoyed um i can maybe do a part two of this video if you would like a part two uh, maybe talking about bit more about the higher term time frame really higher term time frame levels um sorry i need to not get distracted i'm just going to say thank you <laughs> going to say thank you ever so much as always if you've enjoyed you can hit that like button you can share it with your friends wow what a long video um i'm just going to say i love you i love you i love you i love you if you want a group that's here to support you that's here to give you heads up um you know and just see this process moving along like you hopefully do um then yeah, chartchampions.com. Send our regards, send our love, send our passion. I hope it's come through in this video. And uh, all I'm going to say is enjoy it. Absolutely enjoy it with a big smile on your face. And trust me, when, you're, when you smile, when you're positive, life is just easier. Yeah, life is easier. So yeah, thank you ever so much. Thank you, 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 thank you. I love you. I love the support. And I love what we're doing here, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm really proud. So um, yeah. Cheers, everybody. Have a good day. And uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, I literally ended the video about 10 seconds ago. 10 seconds. And I just want to show you this. This is why we don't preset. Because look at that. We hit 49,500. We got that tiny pullback to 49,300. Then we instantly rocket through almost another five, almost another $1,000. Uh, anyway, that's the... That's the power of recognizing the order flow. That's the power of trading the reaction. Uh, I'm going to have to attach this to the end of the video because yeah, that was that was a spe that was special actually. That was really I'm really happy that happened because it just shows you why I don't preset shorts, why I look at the order flow, how I recognize the strength because of the open interest increasing. Yeah, open interest increasing, the volume was increasing. That tells me do not short the level blindly. Wait for the MS change which we didn't get, so we look for higher. Yeah, and we got higher. That is just showing you the power of reading order flow as it's happening. That's how that's how we have high win rates. For that reason that you've just seen right there. I love technical analysis. Uh, <laughs> and that is why. That is why right there. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I'm now going to have to uh, edit this video, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. But nevertheless, I'm going to do it. And... Um, <laughs> As CC Paul said, there he goes. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>